So we have one of Domino's first training sessions here out in the play yard. We're not using any verbals at first. We're just focusing on teaching him the tactical cues for sit and down. And that helps me have a couple of cues that I can start using with him off the bat where I can make sure that he has 100% accuracy all the time and good timing. So this is using pressure straight up on the leash to mean sit and pressure straight down to mean down. Maybe pressure up for sit is something you already do with him because he picked that one up so quickly and was so good at it. But that's using a learning style called negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement is a really powerful learning tool more so than just positive reinforcement so positive reinforcement is where you just give him something for doing what we want like a treat so more so than just giving him a treat if he sits when asked or if he lays down when asked negative reinforcement kind of gives you a way to reward twice and to get the dog to do what you want faster and with a little bit more enthusiasm and clarity so that's where instead of just giving him the reward first i actually add in something annoying something that's not ideal for him in this case it's the leash pressure pressure straight up or pressure straight down by stepping on the leash or putting my foot on the leash so that's kind of annoying when he sits say i pull up on the leash when he sits the first reward is the release of that pressure so your timing is really important here and you can see as he's practicing his sits and downs and those puppy push-ups doing sit down sit down sit down that the second he sits the second his butt touches the ground the pressure on the leash releases but then he's also hearing a reward marker right and getting a treat so it's kind of a two-part reward there and he's incentivized to sit faster to release the leash pressure. Same with down, I'm putting my foot on the leash to add some annoying pressure down. The second he does it, the first reward is the instant release of that pressure, then he also gets a treat on top of that. And that leash pressure down gives me a way to start teaching him that when we say down, we mean lay down until we say otherwise, even if we didn't say stay. Because if you were to lay down and just have that positive reinforcement, just get a treat, then he stands back up just because he hasn't learned that he has to hold the down. And then we'd kind of be in a spot where you have to say down again and then reward it again because he's still in that learning phase. With this leash pressure down, it gives us a way to correct that without him being able to game the system, without him learning that he can stand back up to get another treat for laying down and stand back up to get another treat for laying down. Or if we don't reward every time, we can avoid the confusion of him not being totally sure that that's what down means because sometimes he gets a reward for it and sometimes he doesn't. So instead, when he gets up, I just put my foot on the leash to add that pressure back. The second he lays down, the pressure releases again and he's only getting treats if he's holding it. He's not getting additional treats if he gets out of the down and then is guided back into it. And then we're also working on the climb command here. First, just again, working on some negative reinforcement and teaching him to yield to the leash pressure. So you can see first, he's just getting on and off and on and off and on and off of that bed. Every time he gets on it, he's hearing the reward marker, getting treats on it. It's super fun. So as soon as I saw that he understands that that place is a treat button, he understands that just getting up there gets him food and he's very happy to go there and do that. Then I started adding in leash pressure. Even if he was gonna go there himself, I'm adding some pressure towards the bed. And you can see he's kind of resisting that at first. He's got some opposition reflex kind of leading against it. Not because he doesn't wanna to go to the bed, it's just opposition reflex to the leash pressure. So it's again there setting it up for when he's advanced enough to know to stay there on command and he gets off, I can use that leash pressure to quickly put him back up and he understands what it means. Because in that situation, we'll want it to be snappy. As soon as he steps off, we want pressure to get back on and for him to very quickly hop back on. So at this point, we're just adding that kind of light leash pressure until he goes towards the bed and gets on it. So just setting up for a lot of future rules and standards here but he picked up all of those cues very quickly and uh, he had a great time so it's so nice that he loves that food that's very helpful and he's a very happy learner so he's off to a great start